Hello everybody and welcome back to the Digital Europe Tech Talk. This is where tech leaders get real and talk about what it takes to build a successful business in Europe and of course beyond. Today I'm very happy to welcome Lubomila Jordanova. She's the CEO and founder of the German scale-up Plan A. Plan A uses technology to help companies decarbonize, basically taking companies through the green transition, which is not easy sometimes. Welcome to the Tech Talks, Lubomila. I'm very glad to see you here again. Hi, Cecilia. Such a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. So, Lubomila, I mean, it's no secret that you made it into the top three of Digital Europe Future Unicorn Award last year. Can you tell us a bit more about what you actually do in Plan A and what's your journey? The journey of Plan A has been quite dynamic. I found the company in 2016 in Berlin and started scaling, but in an environment where sustainability wasn't considered as a business opportunity. Since then, we've gone to 150 people across a lot of different European cities. And I can proudly say that I do see technology as a key lever now in the minds of business leaders for decarbonization, ESG reporting, and of course, compliance with the EU legislation. What does success mean? I mean, what does success look for you in like two, three, four years? Success in our context means impact uh, at scale. We have been working with supporting businesses across the whole of the EU to decarbonize, to become aware of the importance of sustainability and the opportunity of sustainability being a lever for return on investment. So what type of companies are using your, your, your technologies? And can you give like a, an example or on how it actually helps their journey towards be, becoming greener? The Plan A software assesses tens of thousands, in some cases hundreds of thousands of data points a month, and it gives to a business a prescription on how they can reduce their emissions. These are tangible, practical suggestions with different activities that when adopted can reduce the emissions of a company and make it more sustainable. We work with companies of the likes of BMW, Deutsche Bank, BMP, Visa, also KFC, even the European Commission is using our software. I think we all know that companies are under you know, immense pressure from governments, from consumers, from, uh, from, from their clients in general, from banks, you know, investors, basically cut the emissions. What do you think? Are they ready for it? I think the legislative framework has given a common approach for businesses to adopt sustainable practices and become more stringent with achieving their net zero goals. The next step, in my view, is education of not only the wider audience, but also the value chain of businesses. So, Lubomila, I, I have to ask you this, right? I mean, we, uh, we, um, we launched our manifesto, uh, Europe, a digital powerhouse, 2030. Uh, you are right there, a business leader in the middle of the green and the technology uh, transition. Can we get your best take on if two or three things that you would improve to make better conditions for Europe uh, to go through that transformation and to make Europe a digital powerhouse in 2030? First and foremost, I would focus on education on digital. I think we need to understand that technology will be defining for the future, regardless of the jobs, regardless of the industries that we talk about. The second bit is really uh, capital for travel and learning across all the cultures that we have access to. And the final bit is for Europe to understand really the role that it plays on the international scene with technology. I think the innovation that I've seen on the green topic in the last few years since I started the company has been absolutely mind-blowing. There's so many incredible solutions. What they simply need is scalability, visibility, and an opportunity to test. Thank you so much. Um, let me round up by saying, um, looking at you, uh, I think you will be one of the big leaders in facilitating the green and digital transformation. Uh, and of course, I'm also happy to see that we actually have, uh, you know, female leaders that are taking, you know, the business route of green and digital. I'm very proud to have you here with Digital Europe today. Uh, thank you so much for your contributions and hope to see you out there growing stronger and bigger uh, day by day. Thank, thank you, Lubomila. Thank you.